Hey Andrew, pass me the wiring diagram. What is this shit? This is a Yamaha 340 enticer. Long track. Long track. Louder. Long track? She has been dubbed Yam Yuck, and because she is beautiful in every single way. We found her in a dump, we thought we were being a little bit ambitious, but after a bit of wiring, she purrs like a kitten. Yeah, she's hard to start. And she smokes a lot. You know, really sick shit. Alright, when we first got this sled, we had a lot of bad electrical connections and bad electrical components, and all the electrical connections that we did have were faulty and they didn't work properly. So we decided to figure out what do we actually need to get the engine to run, to get spark. So, we went to our big old stack of wires coming out from our engine, and we found which one was the one that charged. So we stick a voltmeter into this wire and then stick it to ground, and then that would determine which wire has to charge out of it. Once we determine the charge wire coming out of it, we find this corresponding CDI wire, which in this case was brown. We connect those two up. Then we go to the coil, and we find what color wire the coil has, and we connect those two, connecting the CDI. And those are the only two wires we need to connect through the coil, CDI, and the magneto. Then the one from the coil, we need to ground it. So we ground it to the snowmobile, and if all connections are proper, we should get spark to our spark plug. So all we need, power coming from magneto, power coming from CDI, ground the coil, sparks. All right, so we've determined that our charge wire coming out of our magneto is our brown wire. And also that we know that our CDI is stock, so therefore we connect our brown wire directly to the brown wire coming out of the magneto. Once it's go, the electricity goes to the CDI, it has to have an output. So an output is our orange wire that we found from our coil. Because we know our coil stock when our CDI is stock. So we took those and we directly connected it via a red wire. Both are used red wire to try to avoid confusion. Next, we need one more wire coming out of the coil. That's to ground the coil. And it's kind of hard to see, but the black wire coming from over here goes all the way across here through this tangled mess and actually comes directly to ground right over here. So now we've got electricity coming from the magneto to sum it all. Electricity coming from the magneto to the CDI. From the CDI to the coil, and then the coil is grounded. And then if everything is proper and everything's good, you should get spark. All right, due to all our bypassing, uh, we've got a little bit of issues. This doesn't work. We don't actually have a switch. This actually still works. This is fucking broken. Um, I don't know if any of that actually works. Headlights doesn't work, but we don't even have a hood, so why does it even matter? All right, then let's take it for a spin. All right, looks like we got about, what do you think, Andrew, for snow? Half a centimeter. Yeah, half a centimeter or so. Yeah, usually we get more about this time, but we'll have to make do with what we have. All right, ready to go?